Hello and welcome along to Mondo Channel About Movies. My name is John. And this video is going to be a review of the 1920 masterpiece, The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari. Now this movie was probably shot in 1919, which is remarkable to think that you've got something in your hands that was like from that, that time. And here it is in a, an amazing edition from Eureka. Now the reason why I'm talking about this movie at this time is, as well as it being a great movie for Halloween, it is a movie that's going to get released on 4K. So the restoration on this movie was carried out in 2014. And I'm pretty sure they're going to use that transfer for the 4K. So this movie is directed by Robert Wiener. And it stars the amazing Conrad Veidt, who stars in quite a few silent movies. He's absolutely brilliant. There's a great presence in here. What a uh, character he is of Cesare, who is the stumbling sonambulist of this uh, this particular movie. Try saying that, the 15 pints. Now, Conrad Veidt starred in these other two amazing movies, uh, 1924's The Hands of Orlock and the amazing 1928's The Man Who Laughs. Now, it, in these movies, you've got to see his performance in here to believe it. And these are more like realised than this one is because he does play a sort of, uh, like a zombie for a certain, to a certain extent, but there's a lot, be, there's not more to that. It's not just him just wandering around. There's got a lot more twists and turns in this movie which I found on this this recent watch. I think that this movie is a, a, a spectacular a visual treat. It's one of those movies that when you watch it you've never you won't forget it because the way it's like presented it's got this um, really strange look to the movie. All the sets and set pieces are like in a strange angle. Everything seems to be the wrong shape and size and proportions. The windows are too big or too small. The town is, is basically painted. It's a painted backdrop. But that really adds to the story. It adds to the fact of this being in a sort of really strange nightmare town. So Dr. Caligari, when he comes into the town, he brings across this, this sort of sideshow uh, person here called Cesare. And what he does is he, he puts him out and people come to the tent to see Cesare perform. And what he does is he said that this the sort of blurb that he says about Cesare is that he's been in a coma for all of his life. and But if you want to speak to him, he will tell you your future. So this guy in the audience says to Cesare, the question I want to ask you is, how long have I got left to live? And Cesare says, until the morning. So can you imagine that? And the, the fellow's laughing, but he's not laughing. And, you know, what a, what a question to ask and what an answer to get. So this fellow goes away. And without spoilers, he actually doesn't make it till the morning. And there's, there's a quite a lot of misdirection in this movie. You obviously think one thing, and this movie goes in a certain certain way. But when I watched the full movie, and it was funny because I watched this movie quite a few times, but on this watch, I kind of got a different slant on the movie that I never got before. And I had to go back and re-watch really a little bit of it and think, am I missing some here? Or have I really like, not understood this movie? Now, this movie can be taken a few ways. Now, this is the great thing about The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari. The fact is that it's not just like a bit of a sort of over melodramatic, you know, that acting that they used to have in the early in the early twenties, which is a bit pronounced, but you have to imagine there's no vo there's no um, words in this movie, so you can't kind of like put your point across by like your facial expressions, which this movie here is a masterpiece with that. The the uh, expressions that uh, Conrad Veidt gets across in that movie is just next level. I've never seen anything like it. In fact, it doesn't need words. He's that expresses with his face, and don't forget, in the man who laughs. He's got a permanent smile on his face, so he can't even, like, he's always smiling, even when he's getting bad news. So that's that's a different story. It's an absolutely brilliant movie. So this movie here does have that sort of flavour to it, where you think it's not your straightforward, like, run-of-the-mill movie, where this this uh, circus comes into town with this Dr. Caligari, who has this cabinet that Cesare lives in, and he can tell you the future. It's not just that. That's what I thought it was, in a way. And... It, it goes in some really strange turns that I thought, at the end of it, I thought, have I, what have I just seen? Have I seen what I thought I'd seen, or have I not? So for a movie in 1920, when it was even made in 1919, to be able to do that here just shows the calibre of this type of movie. Now, obviously, when I realised this was coming out in 4K, I thought that's an instant purchase, but I thought what I'll do is I'll have a look at this disc and see what it's like. Now, when I watched it on my uh, OLED TV, I've got to say that the picture quality on here was absolutely Bearing in mind it is a 1920 movie and it has got limitations. It's it's crystal clear in places. The detail that it can bring from a negative is quite spectacular, actually. And the set pieces in here, the way it looks, the way that the town's got this really strange look to it, 
is all the better for me. Obviously it's black and white and it's silent, but you get like the 5.1 surround sound, which is the, the, mu the movie music that they've chose for the movie. Uh, it's quite good actually you've got two different styles of mo uh, movie music that you want to play and you can sort of take a pick as to what sort of like um soundtrack you would like and the one i chose was the one the main one the 5.1 but i'm going to look look at this movie again with the other soundtrack it might put a different sort of like spin on it so this has got quite a lot of special features on there which i'll hold up there and hopefully you can read now what i did was i went and i watched all the special features on here for this is the couple of times i've done it but when I did, I thought, is it going to mention the fact of what I thought about this movie? And it did, and went into sort of uh, details to say that this movie introduced some of the tropes that you see in modern day horror films. And imagine seeing this type of thing for the first time and coming out and thinking, what did that actually mean to a certain extent? And I, I didn't really understand that, that at that time they had that way of like putting the spin on a movie that you could maybe sort of make you sort of think, scratch your head and think. Um, it's a bit more thoughtful than you would imagine, not the straightforward horror movie. So this is probably one of the first ever horror movies that ever got, got made. And in the in here you get this nice booklet here, and you also get two discs. Now I'm led to believe that the 4K version is exactly the same with the special features. Now this movie for me looks absolutely brilliant on Blu-ray. It's so sharp, bearing in mind you've got to really give it... It's not it's not one of the, like, the groundbreaking black and white movies like say Elephant Man and uh, 4K, I'm just not going to be like that. But for what you're seeing, what you're going to get is a snapshot of 1919 in this, this sort of strange world where this carnival comes to town, this strange town. And at the start of this movie, there's a, there's a character in here and he's sitting on a bench and he's talking with his fellow and they're talking about sort of like sort of like spooky stories. And this, this guy at the start said, the old fella said, I've got a story you won't believe. And then at that time, this woman come past and the, the man, the other man said, that's my wife and I've got a story for you and I'm going to tell you. So this is the story that he tells about how his wife is kind of stumbling around in, in a bit of a like, sort of like a sort of a different world. And that's where you think the movie's going. You think it's going to tell you the story of what happened to his wife. And uh, this, but it's, it's got a lot more stuff in than that. The movie itself, if you're a fan of silent movies and you're a just a fan of a movie that's going to take you to a different place and maybe give you something that not normal horror films do, and uh, I think you're going to have a good time with it. I mean, I had a great time with it. I always had a good time with this movie, but on this on this watch, for some reason, I got something completely different out of it. Now, I can't tell you too much about that because I give you like massive spoilers, but this movie has got more to it than meets the eye. That's all I can say about that. At a local carnival in a small German town, Hypnotist Dr. Caligari presents the somnambulist Cesare, who can purportedly predict the future of curious fairgoers. But at night, the doctor wakes Cesare from his sleep to enact his evil bidding. One of the most iconic masterpieces in cinema history, Robert Wiener's The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari, shook film goers worldwide and changed the direction of the art form. Now presented in the definitive restoration, the film's chilling, radically expressionist version vision is set to grip viewers again so i highly recommend this movie and i'm going to watch this again with the commentary on because i think there's a lot of things i can get from there you do find out a lot of things in the in the behind the scenes in the making of here it tells you about sort of german german um movies in general from, from cinema star to the war it gives you some uh, great uh, rundowns of movies like for instance nosferatu which was made in 1922 which I think that this is going to get a 4K uh, upgrade. I'm telling very soon, I can't believe it's not come out this year. Maybe they're just testing the water with this one because this is like the oldest one they've got, apart from the Golem, which is an absolutely brilliant one as well. And I also think the Metropolis from 1928, I think that's going to get a look at as well because this one, these ones here, I think it sounds really strange that you're going to say this old, like really sort of like um, rickety old film on would look great on 4k but it does and the fact that this is looks this good on here i'm sure it's going to look even better with the hdr and it's going to um make it this come this vision come to life and the the box set is about about i think it's around about 30 pounds we get a lot of stuff in it there's a lovely big hard box and i think that i think it's great that they've done that i would love them to do that with their with nosferatu and metropolis and maybe even these two films as well i think easy even these two films are really worth it and also this one is is a spectacular movie you've never seen anything like it has you on the edge of the seat in fact to be honest i was biting my nails when i was watching this movie the 
the finale of this movie is, is something you've never seen before. It's so um, thrilling. So Dr. Caligari's got a lot to offer. In fact, silent films, silent horror films have got a lot to offer, I think, in general. And I uh, really re recommend anybody trying to watch this movie if you can. I'd imagine you'd be able to check this out on YouTube as well for free. I don't know if the quality on it would reflect what the quality is like on this disc, which I found to be absolutely stunning. And the, the detail on the people's faces as well. It's just, and it's very descriptive, this face. You know, they've got this, all this strange makeup on, like heavy makeup. And the, the way that the sets look and the way that you can see the detail in the sets. So I love the fact that these movies previously thought to be long lost movies. Have been found and they've got uh, extensive restoration. They've found little bits and pieces where there's a lot of jumps in here where you're missing scenes, missing frames. They put them all back in here, and this movie just is just a treat to watch. And the fact that it's a horror movie as well, I think it just it just plays even better. I think that they've got an air of spookiness that you don't find in modern day films. I think modern day films couldn't replicate what they did, especially in these early German movies. I think they just had such a good knack for it. And you can tell that the, the directors have some a certain vision which wasn't really able to capture in like Hollywood. I don't think Hollywood would ever nail this. I know they started with um, movies and they had movies like uh, and, and Universal movies. They were great. But these ones were the, the first, the original instigators of this genre for me. And uh, I, can't, I can't get enough of them. So the 4K is coming out in December and I highly recommend it. So thanks for watching. You take care and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.